What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate. Reverse rants, no hate. So I want to talk about Baumgartner versus Mayer. Good fight. Good strategic boxing match. Wasn't a boring fight, in my opinion. I enjoyed the fight. In fact, the fight actually went the way I pictured the fight going. Simply because both of these women are boxers. People that say the fight didn't live up to the hype. Yeah, it didn't in terms of you thought you were going to get what you saw with Shields and Marshall. And if you've been watching both fighters, Baumgartner and May, they're not that type of fighter. Baumgartner is not a volume puncher. She's a precise puncher. She picks her shot. She moves well. She uses her legs. She moves on the inside. There's times where she'll slip a shot, slip a shot, but then kind of stand there and she's open to just get popped with a jab, which Mayor was taking advantage of. Mayor, a lot of times, has this habit of leaning forward. And when she does that, all her punches are arm shots, so they have nothing on them. And not only that, she's there to be, you know, counted with a power shot, which is what Baumgartner was doing. Now, I. I think I gave, I gave the first two rounds to Baumgartner. I gave three and four to Mayer. So I think by the fifth round, I think I had him dead even. I think that's how it went. Whatever. I, however, I know at some point in that fight, I had him dead even. Now, overall, I scored the fight six rounds to four. Neither fighter stepped up to like really dominate and say, I'm going to take this fight from you. Baumgartner did more she did enough even like the body shots the the in and out making may have missed the majority of the shots she was throwing and then countering you know effectively and moving you know and the fight it was close but i'm not leaning towards bomb Garner. i'm not leaning towards mayor i'm looking at who i really feel is winning and i had her winning six rounds to four now, because of the hatred, the talk, whatever that it seemed like was going on between the two of them, and it's real, obviously, uh, you guys pictured, like I said, they were going to go to war. But like I said, if you've been watching them, you know that's not their styles, neither one of them. You know, Alicia is saying, I'm going to dog walk her. You know, Baumgartner, you know, uh, Mayor saying that Alicia Baumgartner came out of nowhere. She's done nothing for the sport and whatever. All the stuff that they were saying back and forth to each other. If anything, what they both learned was they both were better than they anticipated each other being. Because, like I said, neither one of them did nothing like what they said they were going to do. Doesn't matter. You don't just give someone a fight because they did something different. It's like no different from Canelo saying, uh, Triple G saying he wants to fight Canelo Mexican style, but then he went in there and fought on the back foot. You don't just say, no, you got to give it to Canelo because Triple G failed to fight Mexican style. No, I don't care what they say. It's what they do in the ring. I tell you guys this all the time. All of that blah, blah, blah doesn't mean anything. So I thought it was a good strategic chess match between the two. And now for the people that sit there talk about robbery, robbery, oh, she never won that fight. Oh, but then you guys are saying it could have went either way. Well, what's the beef that it went to Bomb Gardner? If it could have went either way. I don't think it could have went either way. I felt like she won by two rounds. But it was a close fight. I see things that a lot of times judges overlook. Like body work is something that a lot of judges don't pay attention to. They don't pay attention to when you counter someone throw four or five punches they might land one or they might miss all of them and you counter one shot bam but she was landing the harder shots on top of that we hit it all the time who's landing the more effective blows right but somehow last night it was different either way it is what it is so crying about it it's not going to change anything like I said neither female dominated the fight at all neither so all of this robbery, robbery, oh, I only gave Alicia two rounds. Yeah, okay. 
Good luck with that one. But at the end of the day, I'm scoring the fight, looking at what's going on, and it's just like, okay. You know, in the close rounds, too, you got to understand. When it comes to close rounds, you know what the judges look at more? Power shots. You can't sit here. I mean, one of the weirdest scoring fights I ever saw was both Oscar De La Hoya and Shane Mosley fights because I think they had Shane ahead on points but had Oscar ahead on rounds. So it, 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 it depends on what the judges are looking at. I didn't see a robbery at all. Like, stop that robbery shit, man. You say a robbery, you make it sound like, you know, Maya went in there and just did her thing and Baumgartner was doing nothing. Like, no. Those girls are going back and forth. It was a seesaw type fight. And I, like I said, I end up scoring it six rounds to four. And pretty much that's what I saw. I done watched the fight three times already and I still feel the same way. I just don't remember what rounds I gave. I know it was the, I think I, whatever, it doesn't even matter. But just watching it's like, okay, man. And she basically won that fight by two rounds, in my opinion, but it was a, it was a solid fight. Now, if they would have called it a draw, because what I was thinking in my mind is, I got her winning by two rounds. They might just call this fight a draw, just for the sake of them doing it again. And if they have to do it again, this time, you would expect both females to be more aggressive. Right? But at the end of the day, that's not their style. And when you have someone... Saying, I'm going to knock her out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, they say that. But when you get in there, you have to fight your fight. And if you feel like throwing caution to the wind and you're just going to go for broke, so be it. If it worked for you, fine. If it doesn't work for you, then what? Oh, she should have stepped to her regular style. That's what they're going to say. I don't know why she's going, you know, so desperate for the knockout when it works against you. If it works, oh, she turned it up. And great job. So, you know, it is what it is. She's now a unified champion. And pretty much, look, you know, you guys made a, a, a big deal about Anthony Joshua throwing the belts out the ring and storming off. He at least came back. He, he got pissed off because he lost. And then he, he had to cool down. Okay, let me, let me go back, whatever. Maybe they talked him into it. However, but he came back. He gave Usyk his props. Mayor, thumbs down, she walks off, she disappears. Now, you guys talk about unsportsmanlike shit. Was that not unsportsmanlike? You just walk off because you can't accept the fact that you lost the fight. And the hatred between those two, okay, the bitterness, or however, whatever, you, whatever words you want to use for it, but the, the dislike between the two, it's like, if I lost to anybody else, no, I wouldn't like it, but the fact that who knows how Baumgartner would have reacted if she'd have lost. We don't know. Doesn't matter because she didn't. But that was very unsportsmanlike. You know, people was talking about the Caleb Plant fight, how he was doing a grave digging thing. But it's like, hey, when people don't like each other, they don't like each other. Okay. But she didn't even stick around. And it might be for the better because here's the thing. People make up in their mind. They predetermine who's going to win. So when that doesn't come into fruition, robbery, robbery, there was no damn robbery. There was no fucking robbery, man. She, you know, neither, like I said, neither fighter stepped on the gas to really do anything different. They just kept doing what they were doing. And the most that they really traded was right the very last seconds of the last round. Other than that, you know, they fought their fight. So, and that's all that really came down to. There was no goddamn robbery. I feel like the right woman won. Doesn't matter what anybody says. She's the champ. So all of this screaming robbery, robbery. Well, you know, again, like I said, neither fighter stepped up to step on the gas. They stepped up and fought the fight that they always fight. Boxing, stand on the outside, get in, get out. That's what they both do. So if you was expecting Thomas Hearns, Marvin Hagler, you was lying to yourself. I actually did a breakdown video that I never put out because I was out and the fight was yesterday. By the time I got in, the video would have been on, on Saturday, like in the afternoon, like early afternoon. 
like around this time. And I'm like, nah, it doesn't make sense to even put the video out. So I just got so caught up. I just scrapped it. But every prediction that I made, actually, the my opinions on what I thought, who I thought was going to win, they won. Everybody on every card that I, that I you know, from the Cambosis, Haney, Wilder, Lanius, Shields, you know, Marshall, and man, you know, I thought Caleb Plant was going to beat, you know, Darrell, you know, Mayor and uh, Baumgart and all that. So, either way, and it's not about, I just did it really just to give my insight on what I thought was going to happen in the fights. The video was about 27 minutes long, something like that. But it doesn't matter what I thought was going to happen, happen. It's not about, hey, yeah, yeah, no. Just, and it was just a breakdown of what, basically, because what I was saying in the video, well, in reference to this one, I'll just say this. It doesn't matter what I was saying about the other fights. But what I was saying in about this particular fight is I don't think you're going to see fireworks like that between these two. I think you're going to see a strategic boxing match because that's how they both fight. And neither one of them, to come in, the difference between Mayer and Baumgartner, you got to understand. Baumgartner hits way harder. So if they are exchanging... That favors Baumgarten, especially on the inside, in terms of who can land the most powerful, more powerful shots. And like I said, when Mayor leans forward, she she has this habit. She's wide open to get countered, and she throws arm punches. But neither one of them are volume punchers. So this is why neither one of them stepped up to do anything different, because that's just not how they fight. Which means if they fight a volume puncher, who can actually fight, not just someone throwing calls into the wind being reckless, but someone who, who can actually fight, they're going to have a tough fight on their hands. You know, but I thought it was a good fight. And no, it, it didn't turn out to be the war that they had people thinking it was going to be. I never thought it was going to be a war. I really didn't. But either way, you know, stop crying all this bullshit about she got robbed and she only won two rounds. That's that's definitely crap. That is definitely crap. But at the end of the day, the judges seem to think that she won. And a lot of times, understand, judges do lean towards certain fighters. Because we've seen scores where we're like, what? How? The favorite to win is always going to get sour grapes from most people. Few people... Are humble enough to say, hey, man, I thought she was going to win, but she lost. Say, you know, great fight on, you know, whatever. When Baumgartner came out, she got booed. Mayor came out to a massive cheer. So we know who the favorite was to win. So I'm thinking for Baumgartner, she needed to make sure she sealed the deal. Like, while, you know, she's in the fight in each round. Last, you know, 20, 30 seconds of that round, you need to let your hands go. You know, try to, you know, really pile up the points to where, make it clear, I'm way ahead in this fight because they just might give it to the favorite because you can throw all these punches and then when you watch the fight, you'll see every time Mayor did anything, she's throwing punches, the crowd is going crazy, she's not even hitting her. But they're, they're screaming because she's punching. You know, and it was the same thing, you know, in other fights, but... That was my only thing, and that's why I said they might call this shit a draw. Because I, I definitely couldn't see it. I didn't see it, no, or it could have went either way. No, you won by two full rounds as far as I'm concerned. It was close. The fight was close. But like I said, that sounds very stupid to me for someone to win by two rounds, and then it could have went either way. No, if that's the case, well, the judge that had 7-5 in favor of Usyk, you know, versus Anthony Joshua, or you could say, well, yeah, well, it, it could have went either way, or it could have been a draw. No, it couldn't. Now, it wasn't as decisive of a win for Baumgartner as it was for Usyk against AJ. But the point, what I'm saying, for the judges that saw it, that AJ only lost by two rounds, you understand what I'm saying? You got to look at that. Now, think when you watched that fight, did you think it was 7-5? Did you, or, you know what I'm saying? or did you think it was more 8-4? So this is what I'm saying. I scored the fight based on what I saw, and I felt like Baumgartner definitely won six rounds before. So, either way, 
It is what it is. Salute to Mayor, salute to Baumgartner. They both came and put a, a, a very solid boxing exhibition on. It's a chess match, and that is just their styles. Plain and simple. Talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love, lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch y'all in the next video.